here are the top things people believe about their pet's mouth that are totally false. All right. Would you tell Steven that we're ready to start? He's right there. So he is. This episode of Cone of Shame brought to you by Whimsies. And now your host, the vet who stands head and shoulders above his torso, Dr. Andy Rourke. Here are the top five things that people believe about their pet's mouth that are totally wrong. Let's have a look. White teeth mean a healthy mouth. Not necessarily. White teeth don't always mean a healthy mouth. My ex-boyfriend had nice teeth and stanky breath. He's probably got dental disease. Good. The health of the gums is more important than the color of the teeth. Check your pet's gums. If they're red and swollen, that's a sign that infection is lurking below the surface. You know what else is lurking below the surface? The creatures from Tremors. We're We're not not watching watching Tremors. This infection can lead to bad breath and tooth loss. It also can lead to heart, liver, or kidney disease. And it makes it really hard to get a date. Am I right, Steven? That's why he's behind the camera. Dude, that's cold, man. The best way to ensure that your pet has a healthy mouth is to get annual oral examinations and professional tooth cleanings with your veterinarian. Bad breath in pets is normal. As I said before, bad breath is an indicator of an infected mouth. And we all know how bad mouth infections are. They're nickelback bad. Or tremors bad. The odor that you smell is caused by the byproducts of bacteria that cause plaque and dental disease. Basically, what I'm saying is bacteria poop in your pet's mouth. And you should really clean that poop up, especially if you let your pet lick your face. Otherwise, you're nasty. Like Steven. Okay, dude, what is this about? You know what it's about. If your pet has stinky breath or halitosis... That's not normal. Feeding a hard kibble will keep my pet's teeth clean. No, unfortunately not. Hard kibble really doesn't have much benefit over soft food for most pets. Actually, dogs and cats generally swallow their kibble whole and don't get any dental value from it at all. Even if your pet chews the kibble, hard kibble just breaks apart when the tooth hits it and doesn't really help. There are dental diets that are specifically made to address this problem. In these diets, the kibble is bigger, softer, and it's got a fiber matrix inside, which is like these little microfibers so when the kibble gets broken apart, it holds together and the little strands kind of wipe the teeth. Just... Kind of like that. And they kind of floss the teeth. You can give bones to help keep teeth clean. While your dog will love you for the bone, his teeth probably won't. Just think about the mechanics of this. A dog's jaw doesn't shift from side to side like a human's does. Therefore, when they chomp down on a bone, they can break teeth. These fractures can uh, lead to infection and abscesses, and they really hurt. Also, bone fragments, usually from cooked bones, can cut the gums or cause damage to the throat and the inside of the intestinal tract. Okay, dogs and their relatives do chew bones in the wild. However, those dogs often also have multiple tooth fractures and no comfy couches. Tooth brushing is too hard and my pet hates it and it's stupid and it really doesn't help anyway. This is how Steven feels about flossing. That's why he doesn't floss. I floss. Okay, that's it. You guys need to talk this out. Yeah, what's what's going on? You made fun of my pants. What, what pants? My scrub pants. They're they're not scrub pants. They're yoga pants. They are high performance scrub pants that fit me like a glove and they make me feel so spider-man-y. I'm sorry I made fun of your pants. I'll buy you a pair. No, thank you. I'd like some. You'll love them. While not all pets are willing to accept toothbrushing, it is the gold standard of good oral care. It does take time to train your pet to let you brush her teeth. Start slowly with just your finger, then introduce some pet toothpaste, 
and work your way slowly over time up to using a brush. Don't worry about getting the inside of the teeth. Pets do a good job of keeping the inside of their mouth clean on their own. If you have questions, ask your veterinarian or veterinary technician to give you a demonstration. Also, we're going to be tackling this in more detail in another episode. And remember, only brush the teeth that you plan to keep. Ah, oh, I love how you clean my knobby back, which is great for drawing blood flow to pet gums to keep them healthy when they chew me. <coughs> oh, 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 hey, I was, uh, I was just doing some research on the whimsies. This is a uh, fantastic new pet dental chew. And the Whimsies, super fun. They come out with new fun shapes every year. The taste that dogs love. They're all natural. They're gluten free. They're high in fiber. They are made with sustainable manufacturing processes. And they are to human grade standards. And they are great for dental health. Whimsies are fun. A dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. Dog mouths are not cleaner than human mouths. They're just different with different populations of bacteria. Unless you let your dog lick you in the mouth, then they're the same. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please help me to help pets by sharing this video, subscribing to the YouTube channel, and telling me what topics you'd like to see covered on the Cone of Shame. Until we meet again, let's be the people that our pets deserve.